night number one of the Fred Brownfield Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rise to your feet. It's time to make some noise because, ladies and gentlemen, only the best go three abreast. And you have them tonight at the Grays Harbor Raceway with the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series. The Fred Brownfield Classic, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy 25 trips around the house at Fredville because, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you saved your lunch money for, your field to the green. Contact into turns one and two, and Austin Wheatley's going to go around at 44. Everybody is going to dodge him, maybe. Jason Sowald on the binders comes up just inches from going head-to-head -head with the 44, and the caution lights come on. 25 trips around the Grace Harbor Raceway. We try it again. Your field underway into turns one and two. This time, everybody's going to make it to the back straightway, and it will be Devin Borden jumping out to the early advantage. Borden in eight is going to jump out to the lead. John Carney, the second, trying to get the pass for the second spot, but leaves the bottom open as here comes the 14 of Jordan Mallet. Jordan Mallet with a runoff of turn number four gets a two for one deal as they work to the back straightway now. He will have the second spot. Carney giving chase to the outside in turns three and four. Carney this time of the run. He's going to have the runner up spot into turns one and two. Mallet back to third. Hayford Teep running it fourth. Scott Baguski with a pass up in the fifth now. He will work the outside of turns three and four. Carney tries the bottom. Jordan Mallet going to close as Carney bobbled just a little bit. Mallet trying to take advantage now. As they'll work to the back straightway. Slower cars side by side in front of the leaders. Devin Borden, meanwhile, keeps pace over the J2 machine. Mallet has company in the form of Sam Hayford Teep and Scott Baguski is about to make it a party. As he'll get it balled up on the right rear in the cushion, lifts the front tires for a moment, brings it back down and back under control as Carney gets around the 6A of Miller now going to work on the 9 of Rice. Borden, meanwhile, caught up behind a pair of lap cars as we've got him tangled off a of turn number two. The leader is there, but he misses him. The caution lights come on. Sean Rice dropping to the bottom of the racetrack, trying to give the leaders room to run. Carney getting tied on the cushion a little bit. Mallet does the same, and so does Hayford Team. Now they will get the run through turns three and four, but while they were bottled up in turns one and two, Devin Borden opening up a sizable advantage already. 1.651 seconds as up into third rolls the 15H of Sam Hayford Team Jr. Got the run of the 14 of Jordan Mallet. Now Mallet about to be joined by the 28 of Scott Baguski. Baguski not able to get the run through the third and fourth turns. They will report to the cushion in turns one and two. Carney continuing to hold pace over the 15H, but now Borden in sight. As right now, your leader on clean racetrack, but his, his advantage is down to eight tenths of a second. As Carney now starting to adjust lanes in turns three and four, he'll try the bottom. That's a mistake, though. Hey, for team with the run down to the inside in turns one and two. He's going to clear the J2 for the second spot. Carney tries to turn it down the racetrack, has a good run to the back straightway, but Hey, for team with too much momentum, he's going to hold the position as Carney tries the bottom once again. This time, he's got to run to the front straightway. He'll reclaim the spot. Carney dives the bottom, looking for the race lead. Hafer team six to the outside now with a run to the back straightway. Looks for the second spot. Dice it up behind them for the fourth position. Carney holds on to second. Hafer team though with the run as they make their way around to the front straightway. Devin Borden, he's going to pull away. In one lap, six tenths of a second. His advantage right now is Carney again to the outside. It turns one and two. Hafer team that time trying the bottom as we've got one up into the wall. He keeps it going though. That was the 52 of Blake Hahn. Hahn losing a lot of valuable ground. As Hafer Teep rolls by the J2s, kicks her sideways, slides it up the racetrack. Carney turns it down, and he retakes the second spot. As they'll come around this time to the white flag. One more time around, Devin Borden. Can he hold on to win at Grace Harbor Raceway? He will work to the back straightway into turn three. Rolls the cushion off of turn number four. He will upset the national tour on night, one, night number one of the Brownfield Classic. Devin Borden gets the win. John Carney the second in second. Sam Haverteep Jr. in third. Jordan Mallet in fourth. Seth Bergman unofficially running at your top five. Scott Baguski in sixth. Colton Heath in seventh. Bailey Susage, Austin Wheatley, and Blake Hahn unofficially running out your top ten.